Hey yo, Tixo here. First of all, before we're going to start with the video, Merry Christmas to everyone who does celebrate Christmas and Happy Holidays. It is Guild Boss Push Week and today we're going to show you guys how to get over 9k score in Guild Boss values in the Hell difficulty. So as usual, before we're going to do anything, we are going to check the current number one ranking. And I was actually pretty surprised that this is apparently going to be the current number one team because the thing is, um there is a female mission so basically we are getting or you are going to be able to get that score without all the missions i mean in general especially in Vegas, it was never necessary to do all the missions it's just most of the times giving you more points but um the female mission unfortunately is the worst mission so basically ignoring that one will be pretty nice so the other missions are pretty easy i think um like clearing within eight turns that's super easy dealing a lot of damage that's super super easy especially when we have gotha the only other problem is going to be using four um rank down skills the question is um if we are going to basically draw her single targets but in general elaine is a very very good unit because she basically gives every fairy 15 percent more hp related stats and yeah that way basically everyone besides of gotha is getting stat increase so everyone is on an hp defense build besides of my king i think king having crit damage is pretty important because we want him to deal a lot of damage and also to protect us a little bit so yeah um i would say instead of more talking we should be just going to jump in um we are going to check what the first turn is or at least what i think is going to be the first turn and then we are going to go so um i personally think it would be the best if we are going to basically attack a once with king in order to have the protection so that we don't get attacks yet or don't take any damage in the first turn um because here for example if this is one star it's always a um attacks here and then we basically can't do anything i think another good thing as well is if you see that the left or the right side has a two star card you can use a rank down of elaine already else definitely keep the rank down so i think um in the first turn we should be just using this we're going to burn those cards um after burning those basically we trigger a little bit the um passive or the relic of no i think it was the passive of gotha in order to basically um increase everything and then we're going to just burn this card here and then uh we are protected and we're going to jump into the second turn and see how that goes so i really hope that we're going to get a um decent score so the current number one is like 12.7 so let's go for like at least 11k score so now let's go to the second turn i think the card was horrible also very very unfortunate um only the middle unit has a two star card and as long as we don't deal damage we can't rank down as well so for now i would say we're just going to burn this card we're going to merge this here we're going to do this and we definitely gonna attack with king again so that hopefully um we are not going to get attacks here because the problem is if we do get attacks here next round um let's say we are going to be able to rank down something we are not going to be able to because we can't attack with our elaine so let's just pray that the shield is going to be strong enough because he unfortunately doesn't do that much damage at the beginning but ooh, i kind of like this card draw because basically um we have more king mergers now um the only sad thing is oh very very nice no one besides of um our hebron gut attacks here that's pretty nice and also we can basically pretty much maximize our card and hopefully come on damn still no two star cards i think here is a two star card so i will just gamble and use it now uh, because we also kind of want to maximize our card draw, right guys so we're going to do um this and i would say attacking once with king isn't bad so maybe attacking once with king first so that we get the increase so that our um oh damn no i want to get the mercher though so um uh, maybe the king king is necessary to attack once because i i don't know if we are going to patience or not so it's better to do it like this and i would say we're going to burn this single target here or maybe moving it's really hard to tell because the thing is if we are going to burn it and we don't draw another gotha um card we can't get the wood which would be a very very annoying but let's just pray that we're going to get here as you can see um no rank down so yeah unfortunately it was a little bit wasted but yeah let's just see what is going to happen oh we have we have one more rank down very, very nice so as long as we draw one more rank down we are good to go and i would say um next round we're going to basically set up to kill both hands so let's just see what we can do so we will get a tax yield which is very cool because the thing is if we get a tax yield that basically means that we have maximum amount of debuffs in turn um in turn five so basically you want really to get um debuffed and a tax yield then your king is doing more so what we're going to do now is definitely let's just move this to the right side 
let's just burn this card maybe moving once in order to get the ult isn't wrong so we do this we are doing this and if we're going to burn the king card we're going to get the ult as well the thing is the only question is do we draw enough cards because the problem is if we don't draw all the ults or basically that stands cancel that would be super annoying so let's just double check everything again so if i move this I will definitely only get the king ult so i will just uh, keep that in mind um if i'm going to move this i will be able to get the gotha ult if i'm going to burn this i will be able to get yeah i think we are totally fine and we're going to burn this so let's just see what is going to happen here um we will definitely get enough ults so it's very unfortunate that we don't have the um what it's called the um hellbram ult but that's not an issue because the strip or our um what's his name our um, um 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 our king he can strip as well so which is not a problem at all so what we're going to do for now is definitely i think ulting with this it's just very unfortunate because of the attacks that we can't attack with king first in order to increase our damage so um and we don't want to kill immediately so hopefully we deal enough damage with gotha we're going to um attack with this and now um definitely we want to get the drain so we will use the two star he as you can see he has a two star so he will definitely get drained so that we can still use the ult of um elaine without any issues so we do this this we ult first so that we still get the ult gauge back in case we want to get back oh i i thought i would have misclicked in case we want to or we can get back the um what it's called the ult of elaine again which is not that bad because here you can see bam stands cancel gives us quite a lot of points but also um with the ult of Hellbrom, we get that as well, so it's not that necessary, but ooh, nice. We can get the um, King ult back because we basically have the Golden Mercher. That's awesome. That's really, really good. So um, we definitely keep the ult of our um, of him for now. And um, Jesus Christ. Ah, the problem right now is I really don't want to get ulted. And I can't really drain because we don't have enough ult gauges onto our Gotha unless we would be moving three times. But do we really want that? I don't think so. So for now, let's just get the ult of um, of King. I think that's the way to go. And next round, we're going to finish it off. So hopefully, um, no, I think uh, just burning this card won't be wrong. Um, so let's just see what is going to happen. So I hope the, um, what is called the damage mitigation from King shield is good enough especially now he doesn't have the pierce increase even though i think he regens enough so that he has the pierce and attack increase again rip but yeah um please oh very nice we didn't take that much damage so we are actually pretty fine to go it's just sad that um our gotha got the um heal block on because the thing is we definitely have to attack with this we definitely have to attack with this and we have to ult with this to stance cancel which means i think those three cards already killed so that this ult won't be used so now it's really hard to tell which is going to be the best way to go but yeah i think we will just do this we could have also just stayed for another turn into um or move to turn eight in order to basically let him regen a little bit but i think we should rather just kill before we are going to actually take too much damage so let's just see um what is going to be happen let's just see what the score we will have i really hope we have like minimal amount of 11k score that would be pretty nice but yeah 11.2k score i think that's um good enough for now i really hope that this was helpful you enjoyed watching this if there's anything you guys think hey um he left out something which is pretty important comment down below so that everyone can actually eventually get higher scores in the hell difficulty so yeah, I really hope that it was helpful you enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for tuning in and peace out for now.